G'day everyone, welcome to another episode of Hunting NT. As you've probably seen the thumbnail, I've pretty severely hurt myself. Um, but to start off the video, I thought I'd show you the adventure I was on when I did it, when we went out and um, went a bit, did a bit of fishing and I took the cord out and set some crab pots for the whole tide and come back and check them. And then after that, um, we uh, had a pig on a spit. I'll show you all that footage and at the end I'll get down to what happened to me and show you what happened. All right, thanks. Also everyone, I don't know if you've seen, but I've gotten shirts made. They've gotten, they've got hunting and tea down each arm. You can use them because the colors I did is so you can go hunting in them as well. As well as I've got some hats made. Um, if you're interested in um, me making these for everyone, um, let me know in the comments and let me hit a like button. That just helps me out in this time I can't work and all that. All right, I'll continue on. four of the top end crab pots and this is gonna be my first spot putting out hopefully it's not too deep of mud pot number one is set hopefully no crabs get under it Right, let's walk out of here. <laughs> Two tides come in. Good distance all apart from each other, so hopefully we get some mud crabs. Okay, I thought I'd just let you point out that you'll see the flathead just in the right of the screen. I spook it, it goes in a bit deeper. 
So I keep on casting and this is what happens. Shit, yeah. Nice flatty. Shit, yeah. Not a bad flatty. That can be breakfast. Oh, there's a barrel right there. Very interested. There's a mud crab there. Number two, let's see if the crabs have eaten through this one. Should have checked them last night. I can't see anything right now, but it looks like there's a crab in there. Yep, there's a muddy in there. Two muddies. Not horses by any mean, but we got two. Hey? Nothing big, but... Well, that's two mud crabs. Successful at least. Asia. <laughs> So they're under sizes, but might be some big ones in there. Is 
see what we got here. You got one keeper. Could be two, but I don't need to keep the Jenny. Well, I was going to leave it in, but um, it, not that exciting, so. If it was a bit more exciting, maybe it would have. There's a mud crab in it. Keeper. Yeah, it's a nice looking crab in there. Keep the babies though. Oh, I'll put them in that drain, hopefully they go out. Todd. So you got a heap of jennies and one buck. So one, two, three, four, five crabs. It's not bad. Well, let's get these jennies. Okay, all right, I'll let, I'm here at the point of the video. I'm gonna tell you about what happened to my leg. As you can see, it's all um, bandaged up. Uh, I was loading the quad up, and as I walked down the trailer, I've stepped on this, it's folded, and that's, you can see where the blood and the juice is still, where my leg's hooked onto there, and dragged down. And uh, to viewers' discretion, uh, to uh, skip through for a few seconds because I'll just show you a picture of the stitches I'm not going to show you the video of um, the gory stuff and have a quick look right now okay now you've seen that as you can tell I'm not going to be working for a while so to help me out please uh, hit the like button and um, uh, please leave a comment and uh, let me know if you have uh, would enjoy. I'm gonna be doing a video. I just bought um, a live scope for the boat. Uh, if you'd be interested in seeing me set that up and um, and hopefully I can do a test by the time um, the next video gets out. So if you're interested in um, seeing how the, uh, the live scope gets set up and the new, how I mount it and all that and how it works, let me know. Live scopes is like seeing fish in real time, so we'll be getting we'll be getting out in the water and watching fish swim around and flicking lures at them. If you're interested in that, and even I might even use it for live baiting. You, you put it out, you throw your live bait, you can actually see your live bait sitting there swimming around. You can watch fish come up to your live bait. So, if you're interested in that, let me know in the comments if you'd like to see a li my live scope set up, getting set up in the boat, and how I do it. And uh, I hope you've enjoyed this video. And thanks for watching. Catch ya.